zero period for the five G period. Wait. History of magical objects and potions. It's the biggest book I've ever seen in my entire life. The Legend of the Brass Teapot. Wow. The Legend of the Brass Teapot first appeared in folklore around the time of Christ's crucifixion. That's what the scholar at the Rocho said, that it was probably from the first or second century. He also says that the teapot possesses extraordinary and inexplicable powers. Well, that's one way of putting it. Right? It can just goes on forever and ever and ever. Oh, my God. Oh, here, here, I have one. Oh, oh whoopsie. <laughs> On and on and on, all these different temples and religions. Ardwaj warned that those associated with ownership of the teapot were in for unsavory consequences, including no. Somebody ripped out the page. What? Why would somebody rip out the page? Why? I don't know, but it's a really old book, you know? And we're probably not gonna learn that much more from it right now. I think we should go have fun. I think we should go spend our money. Can you look at my face for a second? Two Hasidic Jewish men came and beat the shit out of me in my own house while I was wearing a silk pink robe. Don't give me that face right now. You ever have sex in a library? What? Now suck your head, 